Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsTools.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and full review of the Xperia M2 Dual. Xperia M2 Dual has been launched in Indian market and it is already available in the market for some time now. Uh, this device comes with the Snapdragon 400 chipset and uh, when it comes to the price, it is approximately available for a price of 19 to 20,000 rupees in the market. At that particular price point, you can actually buy it. So here we have the package and have already unboxed the device. I have been using this device for more than a week now. So I'm doing this unboxing for you so that you can get out, uh, get to know what all uh, things are there inside the package. So this is the package and let me just open it. So to open it, I have to turn it around and we have the specifications of the device mentioned to an extent. It has got an 8 megapixel camera, 4.8 inch display, a QHD resolution, 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor, Snapdragon 400 and you have an HDR mode as well supported and you do have NFC as well on this device. It is a dual SIM device, Wi-Fi is also there. So let me just open the package for you and once you open the package, the first thing which we get in the package is the device itself which is the Xperia M2 Dual you can see and we have the device in black color over here and it looks exactly like the Xperia Z1 and Z1 Compact as well at least in terms of the looks it looks exactly like that as you can see and this device does have glass at the back and over here we have glass so which is good on the edges it has got glass over here in this particular section a shiny glass and then you have the flaps which you can open up to reveal the micro USB port so sorry the micro SD card slot you can expand the storage of the device with the help of this micro SD card slot by inserting micro SD card up to 32 GB maximum you have a micro USB port for data syncing and charging on the top you have a 3.5 mm audio jack and then you have nothing over here on this side you have another flap let me just try to open this one and once you open this you can see there are two sim card slot both of them will accept a micro sim not a normal size sim card and over here we have the unique power button which is a metal button this kind of design language is almost similar uh, to the one which we have seen on the Xperia series and you have a volume rocker which is a small button uh, gives you feedback but not great feedback you actually get and then you have a dedicated camera shutter key as well on this device a physical button to launch the camera when it comes to the front you have the earpiece below the glass which is a metallic earpiece and then you have the front camera you have proximity and ambient light sensor over here and you also have a LED flash light as well on this device this is the front camera on the device the front camera is it's a VGA camera I suppose we will show you the quality as well so at the front on the bottom we have the touch capacitor buttons which are there within the display so they will take some part of the screen revolution at times and let's take a look what we have in the package before we take a deeper look over the device so further going inside the package we have the charger which is this one uh, universal usb charger with indian pin port over here and again i'm not sure about the output current but the output current from this charger is 850 milliampere it is not a one ampere charger below that it is in terms of the current and you have a micro usb cable which come within the package and apart from this you also have some user manuals over here as you can see this is the user manual and these are all the things which you will get within the package as you can see there is nothing else inside the package so putting all these said all these things of the package aside let's take a look over the device now now taking a look over the back side we have the 8 megapixel camera on the device with led flash and you also have a secondary microphone on this device for noise cancellation and video chat whereas the primary microphone which we have on the device is over here behind the speaker grill so this grill all has a microphone inside and also it has the loudspeaker of the device which is actually placed on the edges so it won't get blocked when you place the device like this on a table which is always a good thing but you might accidentally cover it like this that is going to be an issue for some of the people out there so this is how the ui look like and the overall uh, ui of the phone is again the same xperia ui which we have seen on the other phones including xperia z1 uh, to an extent 
as you can see there is no change nothing has been changed on this UI this is how the application draw look like you can go and see all these application and once you go to the extreme left you have the option of uninstalling any specific application by selecting them you can arrange them in the alphabetical order you can access the play store and then you can also accept the uh, like ex access the sony select store uh, which is their own store for applications so this is how it looks like you have all these applications which will come pre-installed which include facebook some uh, sony applications are there including the sony store moving application the picture a gallery application is on the name of album and then you have social life news application which is again a kind of a social application which is coming pre-installed on this device and all these applications you cannot uninstall them uh, unless you root the phone and flash the ROM so there are good number of application which will come pre-installed as part of the of sony application program so you will get all these application on this device either you like it or not you also have office suit application sony live application and you have a file uh, commander as well a file explorer basically the social app application is also there you also have box not app box net app application linkedin application is also there so you have a large number of useful application but again not all of them are going to be useful in day-to-day -day usage so before we go further on let's talk about the overall form factor and the hardware of the phone so the processor we have a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor on this device snapdragon 400 when we talk about the overall weight of the device the weight of the device is around 148 gram and again with 148 gram it does not feel very heavy it feels very solid as well when you hold this in one hand the rounded edges over here gives you a very fine grip as well although the back cover uh, the back side of the device which is non removable the battery cannot come out of the device is again made up of glass so you will get to see a lot of fingerprints over time and it is again very much smudgy so this is something you which you will notice and same goes for the front as well it is very much fingerprint magnet so that is uh, one of the problem which you might face with this device once you start using it as far as the weight is concerned the weight is 148 gram it does not feel very heavy uh, the edges are kind of rounded when it comes to the thickness the thickness of the device is approximately 8.6 millimeter which is again not too thick uh, but not very thin as well and it is fairly okay in terms of the overall thickness i would say uh, when it comes to the resolution the resolution which we have on this device is a qhd resolution that is 514 to 960 and again at this resolution the text on the display does not feel pixelated uh, and as far as the viewing angles are concerned viewing angles are pretty okay for this device you can see the display from extreme angles but there will be good amount of color fading which will happen when you look over the display from extreme angles as you can easily notice uh, when it comes to the display pixel density you get around 229 pixels per inch and again at this pixel density there is no pixelation you will notice unless you read a large amount of text a document with large amount of text you will not notice any pixelation on the device when it comes to the front the front is a scratch resistant glass so you will not get to see the scratches very easily but fingerprints will be something which will be easily visible 8 gb is the internal storage and you have 1 gb of ram on this device taking a look over the notification center this is how the notification center look like as you can see and let's go into settings and before we do that you can see that all the toggles are here for the Wi-Fi, mobile data, GPS, NFC, all this you can do and you can also enable the power saving mode with, with this toggle which is the stamina mode and you can access the settings directly from here. Once you go into setting, the settings UI is again not stock Android, it is custom. Everything as far as the UI is kind of custom on this device which is part of the Xperia UI theme and again with this customization the device is not laggy it is kind of faster and smooth enough in terms of the overall usage unless you plan to run so many applications in the background if there are some games which are running in the background then you will see the lag but if you are running regular applications then you will not see the lag especially you will see the lag on the device whenever you are doing some memory intensive task that means you are running some high definition games and graphics are being used in that and memory is also being used at that time then you will see the lag otherwise you won't see the lag so this is how the setting ui let me just look like and uh, let me just show you this version of android so the version of android which comes preloaded on the device is 4.3 which is pretty good and again it is jelly bean and i can show you that uh, so it is jelly bean out of the box as far as storage is concerned let me just show you the storage scenario as well on the storage front we have 8 gb of internal storage out of which around 5 gb is available to the user and out of which around 3.64 gb is being available 
as of now oh, whereas 1.17 gb is being used by applications and games which i have installed on this device so out of 8 gb you get only around 5 gb and out of 5 gb you uh, as of now 3.64 GB is available you do have support for SD card as well but again once you insert an SD card you will not be able to install applications on the SD card but you can move certain application from the phone memory to the SD card taking a look over the display scenario this is how the display looked like we have the support over here for automatic brightness as well on this device and then you have uh, support for wallpaper as well and again wallpapers are going to be static wallpapers and live wallpapers which are supported but video wallpapers are not supported you also have support for gps navigation on this device you just need to enable this option and make sure that you agree to all these terms and these two options should also be checked before you can actually start using this device for gps navigation you can use it pretty easily when it comes to the RAM scenario, let me just go into application section and if I show you all the applications which are running in the background as of now. So this device is kind of idle as of now, I am not running any specific heavy application in the background and this position uh, you have around 528 MB of RAM is being used out of 1 GB and around 330 MB of RAM is free. So again with this amount of RAM which is not too high, the device is responsive and there is no lag. Uh, as of now which i can notice on this device there is nothing lagging in terms of the ui on this device which is good apart from this you also have a dual sim manager over here which will allow you to specify which sim card you could you would like to use for data and which one you would like to use for calling you can do that you also have personalization settings over here which includes the theme so you can actually change the look and feel of the device by choosing a different theme and it will change the wallpaper as well it will change the notification led light color as well so you can change that once you change the theme it will change the notification light color uh, over here you can notice it uh, the notification light will light up in the same color as per the theme which you have selected so you have a notification light over here which is looking very good and very different as compared to the other devices which we have seen here we have the wallpaper settings which includes live wallpapers photo wallpapers and xperia wallpapers are also there you have also have some quick settings for the notification panel and other things you can specify what all toggles you would like to see under notification panel you can customize that from here under personalization settings and apart from this if we take a look over the tethering and wi-fi hotspot you do have that supported so you can create a portable wi-fi hotspot on this device you to share the 3g internet you have support for usb tethering and bluetooth tethering is also supported here we have the setting for the nfc and once we go out and take a look over the camera ui let me just show you the camera on this device again camera performance of this device is pretty good uh, in low light as well as in daylight and we have taken some shots from this device let me just take a photo right now to show you the overall performance of this device in terms of the camera so here we have the camera ui as you can see you have all these modes which include the superior auto mode which will take pretty good photos without doing anything you don't need to Think about the settings in this mode you also have a manual mode in which you can actually adjust a lot of things on the device you have a social live mode which allows you to take a photo and you can upload it to facebook right away from here so which is always a good thing and especially in case you would like to do that you can use this mode you have a time shift burst mode in which you can take multiple shots and you can select uh, which one is good so it will start taking the photo even before you press the shutter so which is always a good thing you can select the one which you like especially this will be useful for scenarios in which a particular object or the subject is actually moving you have an AR effect in which you have an augmented reality kind of an effect uh, in which you can have different objects over here on the frame once you take a photo all these objects will be appearing uh, like this you can tap over here and then they will appear uh, straight away and then this is how you can take a photo so this is again going to be useful for some of the people out there I, I normally don't use this mode you have a picture effect as well over here so in which you can have different kind of effect applied automatically once you take a photo so this is how you can actually take a photo and it will look pretty good uh, because this sketch effect will automatically get applied you can also take sweep panorama as well uh, in this mode uh, which in which you need to just move your device like this and it will take the panorama shot 
and again apart from this you have a portrait retouch in which is a kind of a beautification mode so in case you are taking photos of your friends uh, from the front camera or from the rear camera it will beautify that particular mode in that case so let's go into the superior auto mode and let me just take a photo as of now of my iphone 5 uh, with light and without light let me first of all take this photo without flash so let me just turn off the flash over here and here i go so to focus and take the shot and let me just disable the light the artificial light again we are taking this photo right now in a room and both the photos have been taken and let me just show you the one first of all which has so here we have the photo as you can see we have taken this photo and this photo looks pretty good i would say in terms of the colors at least the color production is pretty good however when we zoom in and try to see the details the details are not that good uh, the text is not properly readable you cannot read the text in this particular photo even when we have taken this photo with artificial light and there is the other one which has been taken without the artificial light and in this one it is looking quite dark the color production in this one is not looking good so the overall color production of the device especially in case you are taking a photo in low light scenario is not going to be that great and uh, this is how it will look like when you have good amount of light in this case the color production is good and the details are not good on any one of them so this is again kind of disappointing but again you cannot expect much from the 8 megapixel camera it is quite decent uh, as far as the 8 megapixel camera performance is concerned but compared to the other devices which also have 8 megapixel camera i would say it is not very much up to the mark now here we have the photo settings as you can see you can take a self timer shot as well smile shooter is also there you have a buffed with long press mode enabled you do have video settings over here which allows you to take the photos with a with the smile shutter video we can actually take and let me just show you the front camera quality so this is how the front camera quality will look like the front camera is vga and it is not at all good for video chat as you can see it is showing me very very much dark basically i've seen other devices on which the front camera is much better than this one that is something i can say even when they are much lower in terms of the price as compared to this one so front camera is very much disappointing on this device and you cannot do a very good quality of video chat uh, very average quality video chat can be done and everything will appear dark i don't know for what reason but it is a vg camera you can't expect much but the overall quality of the front camera is not at all good now here we have the phone dialer on this device and again the keypad is kind of customized the ui is again customized it is not the stock phone dialer but it does not have the option of making a video call that is something i can tell you apart from this if we take a look over the messaging application this is how the messaging application look like just like everything else messaging application is also customized in terms of the overall look and feel however when it comes to typing on this device continuous input is there supported you can actually type on this device without any issues uh, with the continuous input which is supported on the keyboard and the keyboard keys are also pretty big in size quite nicely spaced out from each other so you will not face any problem as well while typing on this device even when you want to type without the continuous input you can do that you can always type in the landscape mode as well and again the overall messaging interface on this device is kind of fluid kind of snappy there is no lag and it does provide you a lot of options as well when it comes to adding smileys adding attachment and then you can do a lot of other things you can personalize the keyboard as well in case you want to with this messaging application on this device now here we have the hardware configuration of the device we have arm v7 processor on this device a quad core processor msm 8226 and when it comes to the display resolution the display resolution is not 514 to 960 but it is 540 into 888 because of the touch capacitor button which are there within the display as far as gpu is concerned the gpu which we have on this device is an adreno gpu it is adreno 305 gpu for some reason it is not displaying that information but i can confirm that as far as sensors are concerned these are all the sensors which you will get on this device you have an embed light sensor proximity sensor orientation sensor you also have accelerometer sensor as well on this device but when it comes to the magnetic field sensor you do not have that but still gps navigation works on this device without any issues now on into 2 this device has scored a score of 17 
459 which is again not a very impressive score but a decent score for a device like this and this device ranks in between Samsung Galaxy S3 and the Redmi device in terms of the benchmark score here we have the detailed score for the UX for the RAM for the CPU GPU and input and output operation you can take a look now here we have the Ninamak score which is kind of perfect for this device 59.8 fps and at this particular Ninamak score this device is capable of running almost any kind of graphic intensive game but again the major problem with the device is going to be the storage because again this device cannot install applications on the SD card or games on the SD card you will have to install them on the phone storage which is only 5 GB and again in case you have uh, a game which is like quite high in terms of the storage size or uh, you do not have that storage space on the device left in that case you will not be able to install those games but 5 GB is quite good in case you would like to install games right away without installing anything else you can install them and then you can install application that is something I would recommend you to do with this device so as you can see we are right now playing a youtube video from our channel and this is a high definition video which is being played at high quality on this device because of the low resolution and again one thing which i do not like about this device is the overall color production so as you can see this video is actually much better in terms of the colors but it is not looking that great as far as the overall colors which i see on the display as far as viewing angles are concerned viewing angles are pretty good but again you can see the fading of colors happening at extreme angles but still you can see the display from different wide angles when it comes to the overall loudness of the sound which comes out from the device let me just increase the volume to full So the overall loudness of sound which comes out from the loudspeaker is pretty loud and it does not get blocked when you place the device like this on a table but it will get blocked if you hold the device like this accidentally if you hold it then you will be blocking the loudspeaker which is actually on the edges but again it is quite loud not very loud not the loudest which we have heard but it is pretty loud i would say for one person or two people out there it will work even in the noisy environments as well pretty fine on multi-touch this device supports around 10 point multi-touch however it is only showing up to 9 point multi-touch as of now on this unit as far as the multitask menu is concerned whenever you tap on this it will bring up the multitask menu over here where you can actually kill kill these applications which are running in the background by just swiping them like this and you can also launch these quick application which includes uh, this small browser and you also have some other application quick application which you can launch you can write a note over here with this small application which will run in the pop-up windows and all these application also include the alarm application the timer application and then you have a calculator as well which you can launch so all these application will run in small windows uh, for which you have the shortcuts over here which includes a voice memo as well you can record a voice and over here if you tap on it on this you can capture the screenshot in case you would like to capture the screenshot of a smaller window you can actually do that you can crop this image as well in case you need to so you don't have to take the complete screenshot of the screen with this method with this application which comes pre-installed and it is part of the UI now to test the graphic performance I'm playing this game called Frontline Commando D-Day on this device and let's see how does this device handle this medium graphic intensive game Again it is not very heavy graphic intensive game but medium one. Let's see how does the device handle it. All the controls of the game are visible on the display and again as far as aiming and shooting is concerned there is no problem. I can easily aim and shoot on any player without any issues I can play this game. The overall playback of the game is quite smooth. And you can easily play this game on this device without any issues but for some reason uh, we tried playing the temple run OZ uh, which we have installed on this device which is uh, another version of temple run 2 and once I load this game once the game is loaded the touchscreen is not responsive and I'm not able to play this game for some reason I'm not able to figure out 
because this game is not responding to the finger touch especially when I play this game so you can see the game is loaded and it is not responding to the finger touch on the screen so this game specifically is not running on this device but the overall performance of the device in terms of graphics is pretty good because we tried playing the frontline commando d-day just now in front of you and that game is running quite smoothly but for some reason the Temple run oz game is not running on this device and the screen becomes dead it is not responsive when i try to play this game now one thing i would like to tell you is that unlike the xperia z1 z this device the xperia m2 is not waterproof and again you cannot use this phone inside water it is not certified in that way and it is also not dust proof so make sure you handle it properly uh, most of the part of the uh, most of the ports basically on the device are actually covered you do have a dedicated camera shutter key which is always a good thing on this device but uh, the ports as far as the ports are concerned they are covered with the flaps so the dust will not be much of an issue but water can go inside so make sure you don't submerge this phone inside water otherwise it will stop working so let's test out the overall connectivity of this device as far as OTG is concerned let me just connect this flash drive the OTG flash drive with this device and see whether this device detect the same or not so we have just connected the flash drive with this device and it has detected the same so OTG is supported and I should be able to access the contents of the flash drive on this device with the help of the file commander which is a kind of a file manager which we have on this device and we will register later and as you can see this is the internal storage and I can go back and go to the external USB storage drive which is detected and I can play a movie from this device without any issues as far as 720p videos are concerned you can play 720p videos on this device without any issue without any problem and when it comes to 1080p videos you can play them as well but 1080p videos some of the some of them might not be uh, playing might not get played very smoothly on this device as far as the overall video playback is concerned in that case you can always use mx player and you can play high definition videos as well on this device which are at 1080p as far as the overall battery backup of this device is concerned you can use this device for one day with moderate usage and that includes application usage and you can share photos and videos on facebook on twitter you can upload them but uh, you have to be limited in terms of the overall video playback experience in case you are watching a lot of videos or playing a lot of games in that case this device will not give you around one day battery backup in that case it will be around 8 to 10 hours of backup you will get from this device the battery on the device is again not very high it is approximately uh, 2300 milliampere hour in terms of the power rating and it will give you around one day battery backup pretty easily with moderate usage but in case you use this phone for a lot of multimedia purposes then in that case it will be around 10 hours to 9 hours of backup you will get from the device so in all i would like to conclude this review and i would like to say the xperia m2 is a pretty good device in terms of the overall build quality the form factor the display is also good however the display is not that great the wing angles are okay not great uh, the color fading will happen especially when you look at, over the display from extreme angles but still it is a pretty good phone for a price of approximately 19 to 20 thousand rupees you get a pretty good hardware a snapdragon 400 processor 1.2 gigahertz quad core with 1 gb of ram and the storage is also pretty good 5 gb you also have the exp option of expanding the storage with the help of an sd card but you cannot install applications on the sd card uh, the, the display is something which I am not very much impressed, but impressed with but still it is a pretty good display for any kind of usage especially when it comes to multimedia it is decent enough not too great the color production of the display is okay when it comes to the camera performance the camera performance is again pretty okay not too great as well it is decent enough I would say being an 8 megapixel camera which we have on the device it can also record high definition videos at 720p as well as at 1080p uh, sorry not at 1080p but at 720p you can record high definition videos from the rear camera on this device the front camera is something which is kind of very average which I just told you so you cannot expect much from the front camera the front camera shows the person 
very dark basically in case you want to do a video chat you will not be able to do a good quality video chat from the front camera on this device the battery backup is decent and the overall value for money you will get from this device is going to be good enough uh, at this price point so that's all from us do let me know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off Thank you.